Hey YouTube, we have a 2020-2338 motherboard here, which doesn't show, it doesn't, doesn't pull any amps and it sits at 5 volt, as you can see. And some of the voltages are jumping around. PP bus is jumping around a little bit. As you can see, the 3.8 volt seems to be steady. A couple more things jumping around. And the board is clean, basically, though there was no um, signs of liquid damage. So after close inspections, so here's what we found. Take a look at this coil. It's blown. And we have 3.8 volt on one side and nothing on the other side. And I also tested that uh, none of the sides of this coil is in short. So we're going to try to replace that coil and see if it's going to fix the problem. I hope it will, but we'll see. Okay, let's see what we have here now. There's definitely change, but not enough change. Looks like that this I see needs to be replaced because it's heating up. Let's take a look under the thermal camera. Yep, it's heating up. That's why it kind of got blown, looks like. So let's go ahead and change this IC. Okay, change of plans. Before I went ahead and replaced this IC, I actually uh, checked out the capacitors around it on lines. And take a look what I found out. Okay, let me put it in a diode mode. Take a look at this cap. So this is in a almost short, almost short to ground. And this line is, this line is, it's this five volt line. And the only couple caps, I was looking at this cap, this cap looks fine. So there's a couple more caps on the other side of the board. And now take a look at this cap. This is actually the same cap. Take a look, okay. This cap is blown, okay. So let's go ahead and knock off these capacitors for now. We're going to absolutely replace it, but I just want to see to make sure to get the, to get the, get the short out of this line. OK, 
Okay. Okay. So let's test it out now and see what do we have. As I said, these capacitors will be replaced. I just want to see what we have. Okay, 20 volt. So this is now supposed to be a working board. Okay. So let's replace this cap and I'm going to test it, make sure the board turns on. I need to put it in the enclosure. So let's continue with this repair. Okay, I have the board partially in casing. I did not connect the battery. I just want to see if it's turning on. Here we go. Beautiful. Is a good successful repair of this MacBook. And I did not actually even, I'm going to close it out. Okay, so it turns on. A good successful repair of the MacBook basically by the visual inspection. I didn't really you know, go through the power rails. Maybe it would be faster because uh, apparently the 5 volt power rail was shorted to ground by that capacitor and it uh, blew it blew that. I'm not sure what probably probably the short caused the blowout of that coil, but the coil was replaced. The capacitor was replaced and we are back in business. Thank you very much for watching and uh, check for shores before replacing any ICs. I almost went ahead and replaced that IC. They would be a waste of time. I removed it from the donor board, but it's okay. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye. Okay.